Zinc is actually an antioxidant and an essential mineral in our diet, which means that the body does not make it on its own and it doesn't store it. So that means that we have to get zinc from our diets. So it's actually the second most abundant mineral in our body behind iron. So that is one thing that I like to work with my clients on to bump that up um, in their diet so that they can get all the great benefits. So zinc does a ton of things, including it works on gene expression. It's involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions in the body that aid with um, metabolism, digestion, nerve function, immune function, which is why we hear a lot about it around cold and flu season. We heard about it a lot um, in the early days of the COVID pandemic. Um, it's involved in protein synthesis, so building those muscles, DNA synthesis, wound healing, growth, development, and hormone balance. So so um, zinc is also really important for taste and smell, which is something important to me as a dietitian. that um, it's because of the, its role in that enzymatic reaction. So if you are zinc deficient, you might not taste and smell your food quite as well if, as if you had enough zinc in your body. Um, the requirements for zinc kind of change over the life cycle, um, but for adult males, they will require about 11 milligrams of zinc a day, and adult women will require 8 milligrams of zinc per day. Um, now, when a woman is um, pregnant, she will require about 11 milligrams as well and 12 milligrams a day during lactation. As a dietitian, I really focus on a foods, foods first approach. So, you know, instead of just kind of throwing on the supplements, I really like to um, coach people and teach them about um, where zinc is found in the diet. It's found in both animal and plant foods. Mm -hmm. um, there's also some foods that can be fortified with zinc. So that means that um, the food doesn't um, have any zinc in it naturally, but we mm -hmm. add it in to make sure that people are getting enough of it. Mm -hmm. And it's found in products like breakfast cereal, snack bars, baking soda, as well as oysters, beef, crab, lobster, pork for some meat, um, mm -hmm. baked beans or kidney beans, peas, pumpkin seeds, cashews, chickpeas, almonds, cheese, yogurt, and milk. So we've got it in a lot of sources um, in our food. So fortunately, we don't have to rely on that supplementation um, if we don't need to. Lots of legumes, so baked beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, beans, pumpkin seeds, cashews, almonds. Um, so really a lot of nuts, seeds, and beans will be incredibly helpful for vegans.